Dusk is falling in Cannes. Ouais. Très bon. And behind us, you can see the world premiere for Heath Ledger's final performance in Terry Gilliam's The Imaginarium of Dr. Panassus. Which also stars the likes of Johnny Depp, Colin Farrell and Jude Law. Unfortunately, some of those stars couldn't be here this evening in person. But that doesn't matter because the most important thing is finding out what the people think. Excuse me, sir, could I ask you what you thought of the movie? Um, I thought it was alright. It wasn't, it didn't blow my mind, but uh, it was pretty good. I really, really loved it. I'm, I'm so glad I saw that movie in particular, because I can only see one movie. Um, and I wouldn't expose my personal reasons, but I can only see one, and I think it was, it was the movie to see, actually. Oh, it was amazing. It was really beautiful, and I loved how he had all those characters playing the same, all those actors playing the same character. Excuse me, can I ask you what you thought of the movie? You like it? Yes. How was Heath Ledger's performance? Do you think he was very good? Yes. Uh, I think it's fantastic. It's uh, it's imagination to the the power of the imagination. I think Terry has a fantastic mind, and uh, I do think God bless his his head. You know, <laughs> it's a, it's a really really good movie of the of the style of Baron Munchausen and uh, Brazil. I would say, no doubt. Well, we've heard what the people of Cannes have had to say about the Imaginarium of Dr. Panassus, but now the most important opinion in Cannes, Helen Cowley, Love Film, what have you got to say? I thought it was a really solid film, a really good Terry Gilliam film. What's worth noting, it's out of competition, so it's not competing for the Palm d'Or, so it's kind of in a different category, but the set design is fantastic, it has general Terry Gilliam kind of characteristics, beautifully shot, really uh, charismatic. Of course, we've got to talk about Heath Ledger. Yeah, no, and Heath's performance is fantastic. And what's really interesting, the way they've done it, it's very clever, is that Heath's character is kind of in the real world, and Johnny and Colin and Jude, who play him in the kind of imaginary world. So it works really well. It doesn't feel kind of fake or forced. Do the other characters compliment him well? Yeah, they do. They're, they're great, you know, and it's kind of, it, it, it's a real pleasure to see them on screen, and it does feel like they're, you know, tributing to his memory. So it's a, it's a really positive experience. And the other supporting cast, Vern Troyer, Lily Cole. Yeah, no, Vern's fantastic. He's brilliant. And Lily, Lily Cole, obviously, we know her as a model, and she looks beautiful throughout the film. And this is kind of her first big acting role, and. She, she pulls it off, she's not amazing. I wouldn't kind of say she was the best actress I've ever seen, but it's a really kind of uh, adequate performance. I'm gonna put you on the spot now. <laughs> Out of five, we've asked the people, what's Helen Cowley giving it? Uh, good question, well, I'd, I'd, I'd like to give it a four stars, but really I'd have to give it three and a half. There you go, people, the Imaginarium of Dr. Panassus, Trois Demi.